Did you know the sun can help you lose fat? Did you know that higher fat equals higher estrogen? So part of your goal is to lower your estrogen or your, your excess estrogen, so to speak. So to get rid of excess estrogen, you need to methylate. Methylation is one of the most common processes in the body. Most people don't know what it is, and I'll make an entire video about that. Now, there are some substances you can take to help methylate. Choline, which should be from plant sources, because choline from animal sources helps attract cancer, so you don't want that, but plant sources are okay. Um, betaine is another source. TMG is the source of methylation of, uh, of choice, trimethylglycine. It is such an awesome substance that I actually have it in a number of my products, especially my hormone-based products, like the Knight formula, the Power formula, the Manforce formula, and the Protein formula. They all have trimethylglycine. It's a natural product made from beetroots, and it's one of the best ways to methylate. In the old days, like 10, 20 years ago, they used to use dimethylglycine. That's two, but this is tri. It's three molecules. That's one way, but another way is just get sunlight. Vitamin A is a good way to help control estrogen, as is fiber, lots of fiber, raw plant fiber, not cooked fiber. Um, vitamin K, K2, vitamin D, which you can get a lot of that from plant-sourced, plant-based diet. But sunlight is one of the best ways. Did you know sunlight actually helps lower breast cancer? There's been studies shown, I put it in my sunlight video, which you can see here. I did a sunlight video, the benefits of sunlight, where they tested thousands of women and found that those who got a lot of sunlight had much, much less rates of breast cancer. It helps raise the iron levels in your skin. It helps raise, I mean, it activates so many things in your body that are good for you. It helps you feel good. It, it helps release the feel good hormones also. Um, there's so many problems that happen if you don't. If people like to say sunlight is bad for you, if you're unhealthy, it can cause issues because the liver, when it's toxic, pushes toxins out through your skin and it starts baking into your skin upon the sunlight. But if you're clean, the sun is good for you. Did you know, have you ever noticed how people in the tropics, um, like the Polynesians, the Hawaiians, people like that, they're in the sun all the time. Have you ever notice they don't go bald? They have a lot of hair. You ever notice that you're, you don't see a lot of bald Polynesians or Hawaiians? They don't eat the best food. They don't go bald. Why is that? They eat meat. You know, meat helps, you know, they say raise the uh, testosterone going into your head, which turns to DHT, which makes your hair fall out. So most of the men nowadays in America, they eat a lot of beef, so their hair falls out because of the DHT in their head. But it doesn't happen to Hawaiians or Polynesians. And they eat meat too. Why is that? Well, one of the things they do is they get a lot of sunlight. Sunlight activates so many hormones in your body. And it, hormones is what it comes down to. It's all a hormone issue. And the seawater. Seawater has so many minerals. Seaweed is one of the best things for hair growth. I did a video on that. Um, people in the tropics just have better hair. People up north that don't get sunlight and they eat bad food, their hair's falling out. Anyway. Don't be afraid of sunlight. It's your friend. And, uh, you know, start with a decent amount, like a, a, just a small amount. Go out, get 10 minutes, you know, and then get, then get 20 minutes. You know, we'll work your way up like anything. And it's, it's amazing how the sun has, during the morning and evening hours where the sun's kind of orangey, that's infrared light. And infrared light is really good for stimulating, you know what they use for growing hair, the, 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 the red LED treatments and all that. Infrared is really good for detoxing, helping your hair and hormones. During the afternoon, like the, right in the middle of the day, that's blue light, that's ultraviolet light. Now they say that's the bad light, but it's also good because it ultraviolet kills bacteria, it kills bad things. And you've got bad stuff landing on you all the time just crawling around on your skin and bacteria and viruses and who knows what. So a little bit of ultraviolet light during the day, just a little bit in the middle of the day helps sterilize your skin. And a little bit of infrared light late in the afternoon or early in the morning helps stimulate the growth. So don't be afraid of the sun. That's my little lecture for today in paradise. <sighs> 
Unbelievable. People are going to ask me, what kind of sunscreen do I use? I don't use sunscreen. Am I wrinkled? Do I have skin cancer? No. The best sunscreen comes from the inside. If you ever look at plant leaves, especially in the desert where it bakes at 120 degrees, look at these delicate little plant leaves that are thinner than paper. How come they don't like instantly just vaporize or wrinkle up from the heat? They have a magic substance in them that keeps them from withering up in the sun. It's a magic substance. Eat your plant foods, eat your greens. Don't just eat your fruity, sugary stuff. Sugar, by the way, cross things the proteins in your skin, which causes wrinkles if you have too much of it. You need more greens. It comes down to that. Get more greens in your diet. Half fruit, half greens. That's my thing. That's what smoothies should be. Half fruit, half greens. Don't concentrate the sugars. Leave them combined with the fibers. So eat your fruit whole or put it in a blender. And that's it. Get your sun too. All right, that's my thing for today. I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy.